Hello, I'm talking to you from Nimbin and behind me is a block of vacant land which used to be the Nimbin Museum. A few years ago that museum burnt down. There's a great black scar in the heart of town. And now the land is for sale. We fear it will be developed. We don't want that. We want to preserve that and create the green heart of Nimbin. And we just need your help in order to do that. Hello, my name's Mark. I'm a director of Buyback Nimbin. I just wanted to give a little bit of a larger picture of the Buyback Nimbin concept. We, we feel, as I know probably most of the world feel, that we're under attack by rampant commercialism. It's worthwhile investing in um, the town that I now live in. The concept of Buyback Nimbin is that we, we have undertaken to procure as, as much land as we possibly can over the years and return it to, to nature. This is widgetable land of our great big nation, the Bundjalung Nation. It's going to be a park and the park is like an open yeah, space place, where people can meet and where nature can meet the people and it's safe, it's beautiful and we have a look straight to the rocks. It's the only place in the street where you can see the rocks. The best story in all this is actually a, a portal so we can go to the future. So all the children out there protesting about the climate uh, can go to this beautiful garden to the future and they need to see exactly what that is. The richness is here, Mother Earth, alright? That's where the richness comes from. We're here for the people, we're not here for commercial businesses, things like that. We want all a little bit of that to go on but we're here for people really, to help people heal themselves, to help people heal their traumas, to help people find love in their heart again. Being a local in this beautiful town and having the opportunity to um, keep a parkland in the main street of Nimbin would be awesome. I think it would create such a beautiful space for people to come, enjoy Nimbin a little bit more and just bring back what, what life's all about and that's community, networking and just coming together and just being a part of a beautiful thing here on Mother, Mother Earth. All I have to say is Buy back Nimbin, buy the community for the community. That's my thing. It'd be lovely to see something really positive happen here. Maybe um, an outside stage for local musicians where they can perform in the shade. Um, a shower block would be awesome. I envisage lots of little herb gardens and maybe a little veggie plot, as well as maybe an artist corner where people can um, have their own little craft set up. So all I'm going to say is 11 years ago I came into this town and it was a vibing, happy, joyful, music filled, stall filled, full of faces and people. We need that back more than anything. This is the heart. Nimmin's always been about the environment. It's always been about being socially inclusive. Uh, it's always been about community. Communities all over the world are in situations the same as us and we want to try to encourage and empower all other little villages to do the same, to own their village. I really feel that after we lost our museum and the Rainbow Cafe and this space is available, we want a green heart, not a commercial heart for our village. Buy back and support us please. Thank you. I think it's really important for community to own land. But this land over here, I think it's important we have it and we retain it as a park and a place for people to gather and for children to play and for people to play music and as a heart, as a beating heart of Nimbin. So buy back Nimbin. This is our only hope for preserving Nimbin the way we know it and we want it, is to keep this area as a park. So that's why I think we all should buy back Nimbin. The main reason um, I, I like this part of Nimbin is, is, is the atmosphere, the community and, and the community gardens in this area here, you know, it's, it's a really good gathering area and it's, it's the main reason why I actually love Nimbin so much. Hi world, uh, really glad to be here at the Buyback Nimbin, playing some music for everyone for uh, 
exceptionally good cause to buy about this beautiful piece of land in the middle of Limbin uh, for the whole community. It's, uh, it's got a great thing, so get behind it. Thank you. I am very much supportive of the buyback Nimbin idea. I think it's really important for Nimbin to own as much of Nimbin as possible rather than it being put into the hands of developers. I think buyback Nimbin is a good idea because uh, it's got to keep it real. Just keep it real. Because um, there's not much real left, is there? <laughs> Things like this build community and keep community together, and that's the most important thing for us all. Buyback Nimbin. I want art workshops, I want to make art, I want people to be able to come and put their easels up and create, do murals, do this, do that, weaving, the weaving workshops and I want it to be regular, not just one-offs here and one-offs there, but for it to be something that everybody knows, they can just come and sit and start creating. Not see it turned into a shopping centre, we'd love to keep the view of the rocks and make it a place that for generations and generations to come that everybody can share the land and have celebrations here and, and enjoy the land together. Nimbin is not about the buildings, it's about the community, about the spirit of the place. So it's very important to make sure that we keep something that holds nature. Buyback Nimbin is a land liberation project and I am I'm calling on the whole world to join us. Look, Buyback Nimbin. A lot of memories here. Buy back, 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 back. Nimbin. Buy back, buy back, back. back. Nimbin. Nimbin. Um, and let's buy this part. We have a website called Buy Back Nimbin and we are seeking crowdfunding in order to do this. And we hope to empower other small villages to take ownership of any land that might be threatened to them. Thank you very much.